just trying to even out the soil over here. I think I got it. So it's a rain barrel. The only thing I need to do now is cut my gutter a little bit and then the rain will come out of the gutter and go into the rain barrel. It's covered, it's black. I should be saving a good amount of rain. It's a hundred, it's a hundred gallons of rain. How awesome is that, right? It's from Vivor. Thank you, Vivor, for sponsoring this video. <laughs> Also, welcome to Yellow Door Urban Homestead. I am Asia and I'm an urban gardener growing in a small space in my backyard. So tonight we are installing this rain barrel. Like, I think it is so cool. I just had a tote under here. I've been doing it since I started. Like that's where my rain barrel has been, it's just been a little tote. But Vivo was so nice to send me this. There'll be a link to this product down in the description. Um, but we're gonna take off what's holding this here. And then we're gonna use a Dremel. It's a very old Dremel, so I hope it works to try to cut through the uh, gutter. So that is not working. <laughs> Let's figure out what plan B is. <laughs> so plan B are drill bits. No, these aren't drill bits. I don't even know what they're called, but they're little things that go on your socket wrench. <laughs> so I'm thinking if I get this off, the little thing that maybe is holding it together, that um, I won't even have to cut it, but we're about to find out. <laughs> Let's hope that that's what's holding the bottom piece on. And then I don't have to worry about cutting it. We're about to find out. I feel like that's the only reason why I would be here, right? Could be. I could be totally wrong. Let's see. T totally wrong. Why, why was that on there? I don't see the point of that. I'll put it back. Although, I, I really don't see the point of it. I, I won't put it back. Let's think about this. I need a saw. That's what I need. I need a saw. So I did it. I am not going to show you how I did it. It was completely and utterly unsafe. And I will not put it on here. But I got it done. And I am still alive. <laughs> now we're just going to put this back. Oh, where did the screw go? The screw fell out for me to put it back. Oh, oh darn. <laughs> what did I do with this? Oh, because, oh, I found it. I cannot wait for it to rain. <laughs> Y'all, this is so cool, right? A hundred gallons, it is covered again. I didn't mind my water not being covered, but probably better. I did like even out the soil up under this and then the soil that's here, I'm just gonna throw into the compost pile, but I cannot wait for it to rain, y'all. You know how much water, and there's a little spout right here. So that's how you get your water out. There's a spout down the bottom right here in case I guess it fills up too much, you can open it and get the water out. And there's also, in case it fills up all the way, It'll run out. So how awesome is that? I really cannot wait for, for it to rain. I'm gonna keep y'all updated on this. So it's just like a really tough plastic. It's really easy to put together too. Like, I mean, it was super easy to put together. Well, y'all saw it earlier. You just push the plastic stakes up, put the bottom on, and you've assembled it. You just need to put it where you need it to be, and then you're good to go. I am very excited about this. That's one of those things you didn't know you needed until you got it, right? Like, I'm super excited. I'm gonna keep y'all posted though. But Vivor, thank you so much um, for sending that over. I'm very excited to have it and thank you for sponsoring this video. So guess what we're gonna do tonight? We're gonna harvest. So we're harvesting rainwater and we're harvesting uh, food. Let's go ahead and start harvesting. This is gonna be quick. Um, it is later in the evening. Um, I just got home from work. So yesterday, I cooked two meals so that I can make sure I had this video done on Tuesday and I can post it on Wednesday on time and not late at night. If y'all been around for a minute, y'all notice like I've been posting videos at one and two o'clock in the morning. I cannot do that. <laughs> So we have a bunch of blushing tomatoes down here. These are 
Thornbird Terracotta. But I'm not going to pull them because we don't have rain in the forecast. I am hopeful to let them uh, ripen on the vine. But that's the Thornburn Terracotta. We have one in the house. It's actually a very pretty, very, very pretty tomato. But let me show you this other tomato that I have. And I think it's a great white. It is beautiful and it has ripened pretty much on the vine. I am taking it. <laughs> Look at that guy, y'all. I'm taking it. I think it is so pretty. Pretty sure it's a great white. And that's going in the house with me. <laughs> Look at that guy compared to my hand. It is huge. It's got a little bit of green on it, but we're going to go ahead and take it. It's got a little hole, but you can cut around that. We eating that, y'all. Look, I love it so much. <laughs> so if you saw my Instagram, you saw we have pimento peppers. They are so pretty. We are harvesting those, y'all. <laughs> Look at it. So pretty. Just growing food in my backyard. Just growing food in the backyard. Okay, what else do we have? We have shishito peppers. The peppers are doing amazing. If I'm honest, very excited about it. Even the peppers we transplanted, they're looking really good. So compared to when they were in the bed, these are the peppers that, I'm gonna go ahead and take that shishito, give this plant the ability to just kinda, you know, live. <laughs> but they're looking really good. I was definitely expecting to see more transplant shock than I'm seeing, so very very nice very happy with the way that they are turning out so y'all know i love my shishito peppers <laughs> there is a bunch on here i actually have some in the house already um so we'll be eating these soon but i'm gonna go ahead and take these shishito peppers the ones that are big enough um there is another plant that has them much more than this one this one is still kind of small they're kind of small Although this one is turning red. There's a few that's turning red, honestly, and they're still kind of small. But but I'm going to take them in the house anyway. And this is a Jimmy Nardello that we transplanted out of the bed. They are ripening. They were already on the plant, but they're ripening, and the plant is looking much greener than it was in the bed. This is the other shishito pepper, and we got a lot of nice-sized peppers on here. See that? Very nice size peppers. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the good size ones. Habanada plant you all this is a very prolific plant if you've never tried to grow them um, it's very prolific and I'm growing it in a seven gallon bag they turn orange but I tasted them at this stage and they were delicious that's one of them this is the other one just full of habanadas so it's my first time growing those so I like them before they were ripe so it's no telling what they're gonna taste like ripe. I feel like they're gonna be so delicious. But we have some tomatoes that we need to harvest over here um, in front of the chicken coop, so let's go ahead and get into it. So this is another great white. Very prolific in my garden this year. Very prolific. And they give you very nice size tomatoes. There's some cracks on it, but still edible. <laughs> over here, this is a brandywine yellow and it was cat faced, faciated, however you want to say it. So we're gonna go ahead and harvest it uh, because one side is ripe 
Other side, not so much. <laughs> there is a pineapple in here blushing. But like I said, we don't have any rain, so I'm gonna leave it. And over here, there's so many ripe tomatoes over here. So we're gonna go ahead and grab them. Or pretty much right at ripe. These are San Marzano's. I'm just gonna grab the ripest ones. That one got really ripe. Nice. This is Black Beauty. I was expecting these tomatoes to be much darker. Huh. This is another Black Beauty in here. They're nice. Go ahead and get some more of these San Marzano's, even if they aren't super ripe, because I have some on the counter. I'm just gonna freeze until I have time because there's actually tomato sauce going in the house right now. <laughs> Down here is another brandy wine, yellow. I mean, it's just a beautiful tomato, y'all. Brandy wine, yellow. Looks more orange, but it's just a beautiful, beautiful tomato. Another brandy wine, yellow. We need to check for eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Hey y'all, did you guys eat all of that food I gave y'all this morning? Hey girls. We got one today, just one. It's cool, they need a break too. <laughs> Let's fix this. They knock them off, I don't know why or how. Hey babies, those are the babies y'all. Those are two of the babies, two more of the babies. And then the older girls who are looking for treats. And the quail are in there. Y'all, the sweet potato is trying to take over. <laughs> I just push them back into the bed because I don't want them to be all everywhere. But, I mean, look at them. It's just so pretty. I hope they grow on sweet potatoes and not just leaves. But these leaves are edible. Someone told me that last year and I never actually tried them. So the next time yeah, I want to cook some greens, I'm gonna take a couple of these sweet potato leaves. Look at the fever few. Need to harvest that too. And the bees absolutely love the anise hyssop. Y'all see all those bees? Even if you don't wanna grow it for the actual hyssop, the bees love it. We have a lot of calendula that has grown and I forgot to bring my bags outside, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Um, especially at this time of year when it's super hot. Some of it doesn't look so good, but some of it doesn't look bad at all. A little bit of chamomile. There are so many blueberries. So, so many blueberries. Um, I'm going to have to get those too. Not going to do it right now. But there's also a few beans on the trellis that's ready to go. That one was ready to go a while ago. <laughs> the beans in the bed are also ready to be harvested. By the way, my long beans are starting to grow over here. I thought these were all the same beans on this trellis. That is perhaps why these took longer to get going. <laughs> Not the same variety. <laughs> Nice size too, I love it. A decent bean harvest. I like mine to be smaller. They're much tender, more tender when you pick them small and you don't get that string in there. So. Right here, this is a white tonsil. 
Looks yellow though. Very pretty. It's another one here. Kind of small. Right here, it just fell off, so go ahead and take that. Let's go look over here at these tomatoes. Yep, got something back here. That is a pineapple, very small. Pineapples are much bigger. Someone mentioned that they uh, started some Cherokee purple and they were thinking they were much bigger. They do get much bigger than what I harvested the other day. It's getting hot and so, you know, all of the plants are struggling. <laughs> With that being said, some things may not be as big as they were in the beginning, but they do get bigger. So right here, we have some Amish paste tomatoes. We're gonna go ahead and grab those. Again, I wanna get my paste tomatoes because I want to freeze them all at the same time. Oh, look what I found, it's so pretty. It's an Ace 55. Look how pretty that tomato is. It's a paste tomato. But it's so pretty, right? Cut it out, man. Also, this plant is dying, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the ones that's ripening so I can get this plant out and get another plant in. <laughs> so, I missed these. This one rotted, I guess, on the plant. So, we'll just take that off and put it in the bag and let it go back into the soil. But look at this one. It's so pretty. I think it's a Jimmy Nardello, which they're pretty skinny this year. Tore that whole plant top off. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a Jimmy Nardello. Very pretty, right? I'm going to show y'all that big green pepper over here that is refusing to turn colors. Look at it. It's huge, but it won't turn colors. <gasps> oh no. I should take it. I should take it and eat something, make something with it. My daughter might make a, make something with it. Look how big that thing is. Very nice. I love it. I know, that's what I said, you can make something with it. There's some zucchini over here. I think I'm gonna give it a day or two though. I'm having good luck with zucchini. We had zucchini with dinner last night. Having good luck with this one plant. <laughs> that one, vine borer I'm sure. This one is trying. Then there's some more over in the beds, but look at her. What are you doing? <laughs> you got the chicken? Yeah. Oh. Brooklyn. Brooklyn? Yeah. All right, Brooklyn. Where Brooklyn at? On this table with the onions and potatoes. Lord, y'all, come get him. No, come, come get him. Hurt. Come get him, y'all. All right, let's see. Oh, look at that. A shishito like pepper dinner, that I met. Oh, hush that I okay. missed earlier. It's a few of them that I missed earlier. Cause I was so focused on the other plant that I knew had bigger ones. Got a few cherry tomatoes. We can go ahead and take two. Kind of small. What? Well, they're cherry tomatoes. There we go. Look at that. No, cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. Yes, no Papa. Uh-oh, got us a split one. Maybe we can get a volunteer next year. <laughs> oh, those are all split. Those are the candy, Isis candy. Not very happy with them. <laughs> and here's some sun, no, Isis candy, sun gold that we can go ahead and take. I know I'm rolling now, y'all, but we'll leave those. Trying to beat the sun. Also out here with my family. <laughs> Let's see about these blueberries real quick. Look, there's still so many in here. I told someone at work I would bring them some. I'm about to eat this whole handful, unwashed. Oh, so sweet. That's what it is. I was harvesting them early, but yeah, I should have left them a little bit longer because they're so sweet now. Like very, very sweet. Not the biggest, but very, very sweet. <laughs>
y'all totally forgot we have a few cucumbers they're oddly shaped hope they're not bitter but we're gonna take them in and see one way or the other there's another one it's dark out here y'all <laughs> you can't tell on the camera but it is they still done? I mean, if good, then... They should be. You got one smaller than that? No. Except for, for this one. But it just started growing. You don't think it's right then, huh? God, no. It just started growing. I just said that. The harvest for tonight. It looks delicious. I can't wait. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like. Come get him and her. Share, subscribe. Don't forget to visit me over on Instagram where I post about the things going on in the garden almost every day. Bye, y'all.